Well, Kelly, I can confirm reporting from The Washington Post that there are some early discussions between Republicans and Democrats about ways to provide more aid for businesses that have been hit by Omicron. Now, according to a source, Democratic Senator Ben Cardin, the chairman of the Small Business Committee, and Republican Roger Wicker, the ranking member of the Commerce Committee, have been in talks about a package based on their bill to provide another $50 billion for restaurants. Now, the Post reported that the total price tag for additional relief could be about $68 billion. Meanwhile, there's been an ongoing push in the House from about 60 lawmakers from both sides of the aisle to help not just restaurants, but also gyms and hotels as well. Minnesota Democratic Representative Dean Phillips is spearheading that effort. And in a letter to leadership, he wrote, Tens of thousands of small businesses across the country are faced with the possibility of layoffs, reduced service or hours, or outright closure, barring additional federal relief. But already, key Republicans are throwing cold water on this idea. GOP Senator John Barrasso sent us this statement, we need to fully open our economy instead of passing the buck and calling for more taxpayer bailouts. Now, some lawmakers had originally hoped they could attach this aid to the bigger social spending package, Kelly, but now that's going nowhere, so they're looking for other ways to keep this alive. Back over to you. Which is interesting because, number one, I don't know if restaurants ever got the direct aid they've been pushing for. Number two, this is more a you know casualty of the Build Back Better plan dying than it is the spread of Omicron. And number three, ha is any other industry currently being targeted for relief at this point? These are the only ones we've heard of so far, Kelly. The idea around this package, if it were to come to fruition, would that it'd have to be pretty narrow in order to get both Democrats and Republicans on board. You heard the argument there from a member of GOP leadership saying, you know, this could contribute to increased inflation. So I think the desire would be to keep it pretty targeted and not include some of the other measures like the child tax credit or stimulus checks that have been the hallmark of the previous COVID relief packages. Have rest Restaurants or gyms received direct relief up until this point of the pandemic? The best that I understand, Kelly, is that some of them have, but not all of them either qualify. Some of the money dried up very quickly, especially for the restaurants, I believe, and for some of the live entertainment venues. Um, so the funding maybe didn't quite trickle down to all the folks who needed it. And so there's been this effort to re-up some of those programs. And certainly some of the funding uh, could be unused COVID relief money that was dedicated to other sectors that they might be able to repurpose. Some of it might be new funding. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.